Hey guys, welcome back. No fancy video today. This is going to be a pretty short one. I just want to show you a quick way to fix your parking brake if you're having issues with it. So let me show you what mine's doing, and if yours is doing the same, this should solve it for you. So as you can see here, my brake cable is actually coming off the lever that pushes the brake shoes out. And I realized this after I did my brake shoe replacement video, which was my last video. So I could put it on there and then I could pull the brake and it would tighten correctly. But then when I would release the parking brake, it would pop off the lever and the lever wouldn't move. The lever is fairly free, like I can wiggle it with my hand right now. But let me show you why it's doing this. So this is the other side of that lever. It's a two piece lever. This is one piece and this is another piece. It's kind of hard to see it. But essentially this piece and then this big bottom piece should move independent of each other, but they are rusted together. So it's not actuating like it should under the spring tension with the brake shoes to kind of move that lever back into place to stay with the cable. So just to give you a better look at what it looks like, these are the replacement pieces I bought and you can see how they are two pieces that move freely. The ones in the Jeep are fused, so it just moves as one piece, and that's not how it's meant to function. And just so you guys know, I bought this off of Amazon. It was about $33. So this kit is for only one side. It does come with the pieces to do either the driver or the passenger side, but it only has enough to do one side. So if you need to do both sides, you have to buy two of the kits. This is the Dorman 926-293 parking brake lever kit. This kit did also come with a replacement rubber boot, so this is kind of what seals it as that piece sticks through to the outside, kind of keep dust and stuff from getting into your brakes. So like I said, this isn't going to be a big long video. If you need to see how to get to this point and remove your brake shoes and everything, go watch my other video I just did on actually doing the brakes. That'll show you how to remove it. But for this, I'm going to start here. And the first step I need to do is to remove these four bolts on the inside That'll help me pull the axle shaft out. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, just enough so I can then remove what's left of this bracket in here. And when you're doing this, you have a big hole right here on your shaft, so you can spin this and line it up with the bolt holes and get a socket on there. So I've got the axle pulled out just a little bit, so now I should be able to just remove this. It's probably hooked on that rubber boot on the other side a little bit. I might have underestimated this. It could be a two-hand job. Oh my God, it wasn't. But look at all that junk I dumped on there. Gross. I'm gonna have to wipe that off before I stick it back in there. Here's an example. The old one, these do not move independently. They are stuck together. The new one, these two pieces can move plenty independent. And you can see I matched them up the way everything's facing and how it looks. That's all you really have to do. So one quick thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of anti-seize right here just to keep this one from locking up anytime soon. Okay, so now time to stick it through that boot. So it just kind of sits up there like that. One brake shoe will line up over here with this piece. And then this brake shoe will line up here with this piece. And then when you pull that cable, it'll kind of expand everything. And when you release it, the spring tension of the brake shoe will push it in. And then back here, you can see it came through that rubber boot and it's sticking out. And then this cable will hook on there. So now I'm just gonna quickly give you a time lapse of me kind of putting the brake shoes back together. Again, if you need to see that, I have a whole nother video I made of me replacing the brake shoes on both sides and replacing the calipers and brake pads. So I have a, a much better video for doing brakes. This is just me trying to make a quick video for anyone who has the same issue with their parking brake. All right, you can release it. Do it one more time. All right, and release. 
beautiful. So when you're all done, that's when you'll adjust your brake shoes out. Again, this isn't a brake video, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but you have a little opening with a rubber stopper on the rear here. That's the stopper. The opening is right here. And then you can stick either like a uh, brake spoon in there, or I just use a flathead screwdriver, and you'll adjust that star adjuster out, and it'll spread the shoes and you wanna get them a little tight and make sure everything holds when you pull the brake. The other spot is up in the middle of the Jeep there. There is an adjustment for the cable to put more tension on it. So those are your two adjustments. You have the star at each wheel, and then you have the bolt for the cable up there. Okay guys, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. That was just supposed to be a quick little reference because I didn't see anything online about it for if your brake cable is popping off that lever. So that's what you need to replace and how to do it. If you need a more in-detailed explanation of how to do brakes, please go check out my last video that I actually replaced all the brakes. Thanks.